What is the key danger in an incentive-based agreement? This one might leave you scratching your head. Anyway, guys and uh, team, it's Simon here from The Contract Company. Contracts, it's what we do all day, every day, and sometimes overnight, lucky ass, righto. So you've got an incentive-based contract, you're about to sign it or you're putting it out there. Um, basically what that means is you will pay someone based on how much revenue or cash they generate. So what's the biggest risk? It's costs. What does that mean, you say? Right, well, generally it's always easy to determine how much revenue a person has brought in, but if you're the person who's brought in the revenue, what you can't see is how much or what the costs of the company are. So while you may be, ba may be paid on, say, 30% of revenue once the company's costs have been taken into account, you don't know what those costs are. And so what I've seen happen in the past is that let's say this person brings in 100,000 and let's say they get 30% of the profit. The problem is they don't know how good or bad or how much profit is left from the 100,000 they brought in because what the company can do is manipulate things behind the scenes so that suddenly costs go up. For instance, employee costs, i.e. the salary costs of other people could go up, which means that the profit from the $100,000 that you brought in actually goes down, so then your 30% of what's left also goes down. So that's the biggest, uh, sorry, that's the biggest issue with incentive-based contract is being able to understand the costs and so what can you do about it? The best thing to do about it is to have a clause in the contract which basically says what costs will be taken into account in determining the company's costs. And that way you, as the person who's generated the money, will be able to work out whether you will actually, or how much you will get of the amount that you've brought in. In fact, an even better way of doing it is to simply take costs out of the equation and basically just say, if I bring in $1, I want to keep a third or 30% of every dollar I bring in. So in my example, if you can clearly show that you brought in $100,000 and that should be easy for you to track, then you get a percentage of that 10, 20, 30, 5%, whatever it is. And it's easy maths then, 100,000 times 5% is 50,000. Joking, only five, just seeing if you're on the ball. Anyway, so that is the biggest issue with incentive-based contracts. It's understanding how the costs will be calculated. I hope that helps. Any questions, feel free to get in touch. Simon at contractcompany.com.au or 1-800-355-455. Thanks very much.